couldn't find a legislative body in the history of the country that passed so many pro-life bills in 30 days. And of course, we did it in the Senate. Senator Colcourse, Fraternal Morbidity Task Force, very important bill. Our focus on ending voter fraud for mail-in ballots, very critical to protecting our ballot box. Ending forced annexation by cities, by people who don't want to be automatically taken over by a city. These are good things that people support in Texas. A lot was accomplished. And again, remarkable that this group of people behind me, who I think are the finest legislators in the country, did it in seven or eight days. But we missed on some major opportunities. I think what I'm most happy with is the House quit tonight. They quit on the taxpayers of Texas. The most important issue, property taxes. Number one priority for the people to govern, myself, the people behind me, and many members of the House. With 27 hours to go, they walked off the job. We appointed conferees. We wanted to look at this bill because you know in the House they didn't have a chance to amend the bill. The voice of the many of the representatives was shut down. And so a great bill that was passed by Senator Bettencourt that would have brought over $200 million of tax relief to Texans, to businessmen and homeowners and businesswomen, was turned into a pile of mush. The reason we did not vote on Senate Bill 1 as it came back in a take it or leave it because we're quitting and walking off our job mentality is because it did nothing. Now there are politicians who like to come home and say, I passed this bill just because they want to get credit for passing a bill. And if the House feels they're proud of going back home and saying we passed tax relief, I say to their voters, don't believe them. There was no tax relief or to no tax reform or no tax savings in that bill. And we in the Senate and these Republicans were not going to stand and go back home and say, we passed property tax relief. We're going to be back. And the people are going to demand that we come back in 2019 and get this done. Those who voted against 4%, 44 Republicans, they're going to have to explain that to their voters back then. We also shut down privacy. The Republicans didn't start that fight. We responded to what happened in Houston and Fort Worth and out of the Obama administration and Dripping Springs. The left started the fight. We passed that bill out twice unanimously from Republicans out of the Senate. And in the regular session, we got a bill once again that did nothing Headlines, Dallas Morning News. Bill does nothing. The House passed a lot of nothing bills out trying to claim political credit. But the people are smarter than that. And we didn't fall for it because you know we didn't pass that bill on. And then the special session, they had the votes, just like they had the votes to go to 4 or 5%, 5% for sure. But when you have a speaker who is twisting arms for people not to vote or sign on a bill, When you have a speaker that says, I will kill privacy no matter what the people of Texas want, and the people of Texas don't want their children showering together in the 10th grade, and they don't want men, and I'm talking about transgender, they don't want sexual predators who would use that as a loophole to follow any of the women in this room into a bathroom. The people of Texas don't want that. 